Buari, enemy of Nigerians' progress, Omokri on fresh four billion dollar and a seven hundred and ten million euro loan. Well, Rino Omokri, a social political activist, has criticized President Mohamed Buari over plans to borrow fresh foreign loans. Omokri, a former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, accused the president of being an enemy of Nigerians' progress in a series of tweets. Omokri accused Buari of using foreign loans on alleged useless things like building a naval base in a desert in Kano. A new $4 billion loan. What is Buari even using all these loans for? Useless things like naval base in Kano's desert and sewing Igbo trouser that never, that never reached the ankle. <laughs> what has this nation called Nigeria done to deserve this enemy of progress? Rini Omokri continued. He wrote, Nigeria is now 550 naira to one dollar, and Buari still wants to borrow an additional four billion dollar after increasing foreign debt from 10 billion dollar in 2015 to 34 billion dollar today. Does he have no shame? What type of Bambiala mentality is this? Is it until Nigeria gets to 1,000 naira to dollar? Buari had on Tuesday asked the Senate to approve $4 billion and 710 million euro external loans. The president's request was contained in a letter addressed to Senate President Ahmed Lawa and read at a plenary yesterday. Buari said the proposed loan would be financed through sovereign loans from the World Bank, French Development Agency, Exim Banks and IFAD. Buari noted that the loans, if approved, would enable the federal government to fund critical infrastructure projects in different sectors across the country. Well, this is the news for today. Mr. Mokri has blasted the president, saying what is he using all this loan for to build a naval base in the desert and also to sow some Igbo trouser that never reaches his ankle. This man is a really a charismatic man and he's filled with so much humor. Well, the truth about it is that if you check out the budget for this 2020, 2022 coming, you'll discover that over how many percentage of our budget will be used in a servicing loan. And you know what servicing loan is? Servicing loan means paying the minimum interest for the loan, not even paying the loan. So when we are calculating our gross domestic product produce, calculating our revenue, we'll see that what we are borrowing, our revenue, the revenues we are collecting from all these 62 revenue agencies, collecting agencies, cannot pay back these loans. But our president keeps on borrowing. We heard that it was building a, a, a bridge in another country and now again a naval base in Kano. Since I was born, I've never heard that they're building a navy, a navy base, a naval base where there is no water, where there is no sea in a desert. That is why we don't have navy barracks in most states in Nigeria. But now a naval base will be built in Kano. Maybe he wants to drag a sea or drag water to that place who knows but the truth about it is that we cannot continue like this some people the minister of finance have been saying that we should continue borrowing and i've heard other politicians talk about let us continue borrowing but the truth about it is there must be a time we must stop because if we continue borrowing like this nigeria will continue being in debt when buari came on power in 2015 and now it has accumulated it is now three times even more so imagine what the end the, the next regime will come and suffer that is why on those states till today cannot build any infrastructure the roads are dilapidated things are bad but they cannot because the previous regime in Ondo state was borrowing and accumulating so much loan now when Akredolu came into power after paying salaries what is left from the allocation is a very little for any infrastructure so when this government keeps on borrowing loan the next regime is going to suffer it and again if this loan have been used for good purposes we will see what can we actually see that the president or this government or administration is doing when the medical sector are complaining the educational sector also is even worried they're going on strike uh, 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 soon. So what are these loans actually doing? Where are the infrastructure that we cannot see with our Koro Koro eyes here in Nigeria? Where are the infrastructure that they are borrowing loan and be building? And again, we cannot continue like this. If you can see all budgets from all foreign countries, from French and everybody, all the developed countries, because of this post-COVID influence, they have all reduced their budget. But Nigeria keeps on increasing their budget. I was expecting the budget to come down to like billion everybody should cut his coat should reduce it you can imagine 
printing papers. When I saw the budget online, I saw even for the copiers, they are always buying for the copiers every single year. Renovating Astro Rock every single year. Fuel in Astro Rock 20 something million. Mill in Astro Rock 20 something million. Every single year, the same bill, the same. Are they always buying papers and for the copy machine every single year? So they should learn. They are not. They are not even. They are not even ready to cut down their cost. They are not ready to to to, to minimize their expenditure so that Nigerians could benefit. They want to still live a lavish life and still continue spending Nigerian resources anyhow they want, and they expect the country to grow. If you measure our our revenue and uh, see, you see that we cannot uh, generate the, the the loans we are borrowing. Even in the next twenty years from now, the value of our naira keeps on sinking every single day. Now Reno Mercury is saying that our currency is even lower than all these francophone countries, the Zim Zimbabwean dollar. Our currency is lower than that. What is the naira now? The naira has lost its value. What are your thoughts and opinion? Let us leave them down in the comment section below. Let us know your thoughts, your opinion, what you think concerning all this loan being borrowed by the president. Do you think it's a good thing or do you think it's only going to put Nigeria in more problems? Because the way we see our politicians, they are so greedy and they are so corrupt. These loans you see them assigning, these loans you see them collecting, it can be entering their personal pocket, entering their international bank account and they can be squandering the money thereby putting putting the entire nation in a serious debt. When will Nigeria become a giver? When will we be the one giving out loans to other uh, countries, other third world nations that are still coming up? When will other countries call on us, beg on us to give them loan? When will that happen? Are we the one always going out to go and beg for loan? To go and do our magic, to go and ask people for loan every single time? When will we will raise ourselves up and become the giant of Africa? When will that come? Please drop your comment in the comment section. And if you're coming here for the first time, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join our platform so you can get updated what's happening in Nigeria, in Africa, and in the world at large. Keep watching and do have a wonderful week. God bless you.